Good evening, sir. Yes, sir. Traffic stops being audio and video recorded, and I stopped you because you didn't use your blinker making a lane change back there. Didn't? Nope. The first time when you moved from the right lane into the left lane, you didn't use your, your signal. So in the state of Washington, you're required to signal 100 feet before any lane change. So I need your driver's license, registration, and insurance, please. How long have you been in Washington State? Uh, a few months. Is there any reason why you don't have a Washington ID card? Because uh, I keep thinking I'm going back to Kansas. Okay. And I don't. That one's good through next year. Okay. Yeah, put it in this week. Great, that should be it. Yep, that's the current one. Alrighty, I'll be right back in just a couple seconds, okay? Two out of 40 data still open.
So I know you have up to 45 days living in the state of Washington to update and renew and get a new driver's license. It's actually a misdemeanor. Really? Yeah. Yeah, so... Hey, do you mind if we check my lights? Because I'm pretty good about it. What I'll, what I'll tell you to do if you want to start your car up, okay. go ahead and turn your left blinker on and I'll tell you if it works, and then turn your right blinker on and we'll, we'll do all that for you, okay? Right one's working, left one's working. They both work. Warren, I did it. Now, where, where was it that I did this? Back here is when you went from the right hand lane into the left hand lane, you didn't use your blinker. Okay, yeah, on C okay. Street. I and then. You were and then talking about when I came off on the hill there. No. No, it was just, you just didn't turn it on when you were moving into the left lane behind the semi. And then you turned it on for about half a second and jumped over and started, and that's when I pulled you over. So, I would encourage you, if you're going to be here, get a Washington driver's license. I know it's like 45 bucks, but... Well, it's safe. Safe. There you go. <laughs> Especially if you're going to do any fishing around here in the Puyallup, the Carbon, or any of the other good rivers around here, right? Uh, and you know what, I've been trying to learn the fishing around here, so... Lawson or uh, with... Uh, Bobbers and eggs. No, j no, fly fishing. Fly fishing? Yeah. Uh, actually, the other day, so I was fishing down on the Puyallup, and a guy caught caught a big old salmon this big, big old king, uh, and he was fly fishing. We were using him bobbers and eggs, and we got two bites for the whole day, and then another guy was doing... Well, honestly, I want to learn it all. I want to try to figure out how to fish, because I'm well, in the Midwest from Kansas, obviously, and... September 1st, uh, all the good fishing really starts around here. Yep, that's when um, the big salmon runs all open up for all the rivers, for most of the rivers anyways, for us to fish. Um, a lot of people really fish really hard in the Puyallup and the Carbon Rivers. Um, a lot of people are already down in the Puyallup Rivers. And then as soon as the numbers of fish start really picking up, um, last year and next year, so every odd year, um, the pinks come through, and you're allowed to keep an extra two or four fish. Really? Two or four pinks. They're great for smoking, so... There's good fishing up there, too. Well, but, I mean, I need to find somebody to be able to fish with down there, because I don't... Yeah, I don't really have a chance to fish um, with them. What I would encourage you to do, um, I'm a member of a hunting forum called Hunting, and then a dash, Washington.com. Get on there, and there's people all the time looking for other people to either help them teach fishing, help them to teach hunting, all sorts of stuff like that. Just remember hunting, and then a dash, Washington.com. So, if you're, if you're interested, I mean, there's... Uh, definitely. Yeah. But there's guys on there all the time offering to help teach people to fish, or if you post in there, yeah, you know, help wanted. It's one of those kind of, again, you know, I hear it. He's up there and everything. Hmm? So, I mean, it's one of those things that a lot of those guys are willing to, you know, if you barter with them, if you offer them something to teach them something, they'll teach you how to fish. I just got lucky. I, I married into a family where everybody hunts and fish, so that's how I got into it. But yes, I know. I, I've hunted, I hunt in Wyoming just about every year, so. so. Just take care of your business and... Thank you. Yep. No. Most of the time, with people not signaling, I, I, I want to use that uh, education. Yep. Drive safe, okay, sir?